Hi everybody, so today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Ring Lord RDA. This is by Hugs Vape. It is a 27 millimeter in diameter RDA. It does have um, adjustable air flare. It's got this neat little feature inside and it comes with a glass top cap. So it is a one piece top cap, but I'm gonna take you down. We're gonna um, take a look at it. We're gonna put a build in it. We're gonna wick it and then we're gonna come back up. We're gonna talk about it and I'll give you my pros and cons. So let's go ahead and look at the Ring Lord okay, RDA. Okay, so here we are with the Ring Lord RDA by Hugs Vape. This is an RDA that they designed. It says Ring Lord RDA here. It's got your scratch off authenticity here. Um, my color is actually in gunmetal. And on the back, you're gonna get your kit content. So it's gonna tell you that it's coming with the RDA, a 510 pin, extra glass cap, tri-tool screwdriver, flathead screws, um, extra O-rings, and user manual. And when you open it up, you're gonna get the RDA. You're gonna get a spare glass cap. This does come with a glass, one full piece glass cap. It's got an airflow here and an airflow here. It is glass, so I do like that they provided you with an extra one. And with the RDA, you're gonna get it, and it does come with the glass cap already on it. So you do get an extra one, but we're gonna go over the RDA in a second. Let's go ahead and go over the rest of the package. So also included in the package, you're gonna get some silica gel, do not eat. You're gonna get a tri-tool. You're also gonna get a squonk pin, some extra flathead screws, and some O-rings. And then you're gonna get a user manual. It's more of a pamphlet style user manual. It tells you all about the RDA itself. And then it gives you some other pictures on how to build it. It is a single coil RDA. It tells you um, what's included and all that other good stuff, but we're gonna go ahead and go over that. Okay, so here we are with the RDA. And again, it is a one piece top glass cap. It only has two slots for airflow. You can adjust it with your glass cap. It is a 27 millimeter in diameter RDA. Again, only for single coil. It does say Ring Lord here. It does have a protruding 510 bin and then Hugs Vape down here with your serial number and the website. And then to go further into this, let's go ahead and put this on a mod so I can get this cap off so I can show you. I'm just gonna screw it down here on my mod. And then once it's on there, you can go ahead and take a look at that. This again is just the regular glass cap. Sorry about all this filminess. I did have to clean it, but um, yeah, so that's the glass cap and that has your airflow on it. On here, you're gonna see your bottom airflow. It's also got your two beefy O-rings that hold the cap on. You can adjust it really, really easy. So you can cut down your airflow if you want, or you can leave it all the way open. I'm always an all the way open girl. Um, if you notice in the deck, it is a single coil deck. It does have four of the flathead screws right there. And you're probably wondering, how do I get to the deck with this big ring lord on it or this big half moon ring on it? Well, these actually come out like this. And then if you look on the underside of it, it's actually got airflow. This is like a honeycomb airflow. So as your coil is actually in here, your airflow is actually gonna be coming in on the top and the side of your coil. So it's gonna be doing the opposite thing that most RDAs do. So again, once you put these on, they're both gonna be hitting your coil. So your coil is getting airflow all around it, not just in one spot. I do love the fact that they do have these and that they are removable. Um, they have their own O-rings and they're just open um, slots for you to put them in. So to build on it, you would just remove them. They go in either way, it doesn't matter. And then you've got your four flathead screws. You're actually gonna put, be putting your leads either here and here or here and here. So yeah, so let's go ahead and get a screwdriver and I'm gonna go ahead and So for the first you thing this. you wanna know is you're gonna need to know which screws you're gonna loosen up. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my coil. This is um, an alien coil from Coil Clout. Um, they also make, um, they also have different types of coils. I actually want to use the alien for this video. And I've actually gone ahead and already spaced out my coil. It is the same exact coil that is in here, but I did space it out because I wanted more of an um, even ramp up time or a faster ramp up time. And not only that, because the holes are actually uh, kind of far apart, I wanted it to be able to fit really, really nice inside the well, as you can see there. So I did go ahead and space them. 
but I do need to do one extra thing. If you notice, you're gonna have one lead on one side and one lead on the other. So I am gonna go ahead and face um, this leg going the opposite way. That way it'll be easier to install it. So there we go. So in addition to being spaced, I went ahead and did that. Now, if you are interested in the coils, you can actually go to coilclout.com. If you use Wendy, all in caps, just Wendy, you will get 10% off. So let's go ahead and loosen these up now. I know for a fact that I'm gonna have one leg here and one leg there, so those are the only two that I'm gonna to need to unscrew. Let's go ahead and open that one up, and then we'll open this one up. And I just wanna make sure that the other ones are tightened. Okay, so we've got the two that we're gonna be using opened up already. So what I'm gonna do is get my fancy dancy screwdriver, as always, and I'm gonna be putting one leg there and one leg there, so I do wanna go ahead and measure it, so I'm gonna clip some of this off and I'm gonna eyeball it for now um, because there is no real way of measuring it because it's not really a flat um, postless deck and it's not really um, a post deck either. So I'm just gonna go ahead and snip some of that off, turn around, snip some of this off, and that should be fine. So let's go. Okay, so we're gonna put one leg here and one, I wanna put it where you can actually see it too. So one leg here. And then we need one leg there. And then that's pretty much where we're gonna put it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten down the first one. You can see it under my nail. Tighten down that first one right there, make sure it's in there. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and do the other side. So that you can see it, it's already in there. So I'll just hold that in there like that. And then tighten this side down so you can see it. Okay, so we've got our coil legs in there. This one I'm actually gonna bring in just a little bit more. I'll loosen that up, there we go. Okay, make sure those are nice and tight because we're gonna be adjusting it. And then I'm just gonna take my screwdriver. This is my favorite one, so that's the one I use. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just maneuver it around just like in any other RDA when you're straightening out your coils, the same method I'm gonna be using. I'm just gonna straighten that one out a little bit like this. There we go. Still a little bit crooked in my eyes, so use this one. See if we can get there. We go. Okay. So we've got it pretty much okay and centered. You know my OCD. This is gonna take me like 15 minutes just to get that coil straight. <laughs> All right, so we've got the coil already placed. Sorry, I have an itch on my hand. So I've got the coil placed. It looks absolutely beautiful. It's sitting really pretty right on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start dry firing this. But first I do wanna make sure that my screws are nice and tight. I always double check because it does help. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on, turn it down a little bit. And let's go ahead and heat up the coil. Now again, I did space it, so it's gonna take a little bit less time to actually heat up and get glowing even. See, there we go. I didn't even have to mess with it. It's glowing really, really pretty. There we go, nice and even. So that's pretty much all you need to do. It is, again, a single coil RDA, so all you gotta do is just pop those leads in. As long as you know where to cut the leads and you know which side you're gonna put them on, all you have to do is just go ahead and um, put your legs in the direction that it's gonna be in. You're not gonna go flat across, one on one side and one on the other. You're just gonna angle them down a little bit and then you're all good to go. I'm going to be using my Kendo Vape Cotton Gold Edition. You can squonk with this. I'm actually gonna be dripping with it, but you can squonk with it with squonking on it. I have tried it squonking and it works really, really well because the juice just builds up right there in the well and then any excess does um, go back in. So it does fit just perfectly like that. You're gonna have some cotton on both sides just like I'm gonna do now and it works just fine. So if you choose to do it that way, you can, but I just chose, all my all my squonks are already used. I have, <laughs> I have my perfect RDAs on my squonks, so I didn't wanna go ahead and take them back off. Just trust me, I'm just being lazy, just being a little lazy. So you're gonna pull your cotton through. Of course, I made it just a little bit too thick. There we go, roll it up again. And I have juice on my hands, so that's not helping anything. Okay, put it through. 
grab it from the other end. Can't see through the viewfinder. That's the hard part. Put it there. And I really need some more of these tweezers because my tweezers are like, my ends are not tight. Try it again. There we go. Now I can grab it. Okay, and I just pull it right through. Just like that. Looking pretty, looking pretty, just like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab some scissors. And what I'm, I'm gonna cut it to is like right where these O-rings are, right here where that second O-ring is, that's where I'm gonna cut it to. So right about there. And then do the same thing on this side. This is the way that it works for me the best. There you go, bring that through just a little bit more. Okay, and then you're gonna get your tweezers. I like to fluff mine up and then drop it in. Oh, a little bit too long still. Cut it right there, and I'm gonna cut this one right here. There you go. And fluff this one up a little bit. Take off the extra wispies. There you go. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop that in the bottom of the deck right there. It's not a super deep juice well, but it is a deep juice well, like for the most part. And take this one and drop it in too. And you're just gonna have your cotton on either side right there. And then your juice is gonna pull in the middle and it'll even it out. So there we go. Once you've got that all put together, now's the time to go ahead and drop in your rings. Really nice. Now the first time that you try to get them out, they will be a little bit stiff. I did put a little bit, well, it's been cleaned, so. But the first time that I did it, I just went and put a little tiny bit of e-liquid on it and it worked fine. But that's basically what it looks like. Look at that. So before I do that, I do want to go ahead and lube up my coil. I am going to be using some of this Royal Mojito. I love watermelon mojito. One of my favorite drinks ever. I'm just going to put some on the coil itself. That way it'll soak into the cotton that's there. Just the way I like to do it. That way the cotton gets soaked from within the coil. And this did, it is reading at a 0.32 ohm. Okay, just wet the ends. Just like on any other RDA, same difference. Same thing you're gonna do. And for me, I do have wispies and they're driving me crazy. So I'll put this back in, put these back in and we're ready to go. And again, you can just drip right in there. It doesn't matter because you've got a really nice deep juice well. Go ahead and put our rings back on. And put the ring back on. Straighten those out. Okay, and cap on where the airflow goes. And you're ready to rock it. So let's go ahead and go on top. We'll talk about it, have a vape, and I'll give you my pros Okay, so here we are with the Ring Lord RDA. It's all wicked up and everything, and if you notice, it does get condensation on the inside, but it is a glass cap, so you're gonna expect that. So before anything else, let's go ahead and have a vape. I do have it fully open. I will tell you that it's kind of a cloud chucker. It really is. It does have a restrictive vape though. It is not like an open and airy, big, you know, airflow kind of vape, but it's smooth. It's not turbulent at all. And I'm pretty sure that that's because the honeycomb type of airflow that's on the inside of that ring that it's actually hitting every space of the coil. Now I do know what my juice tastes like and I'll tell you that it's not the best flavor that I'm getting out of here. but it's not the worst either. I, I'm i gonna go over my cons first. My cons is I wish that it came with an extra cap that had a different type of airflow, either the cap or the rings themselves. The rings have the honeycomb type of airflow, but I think that what would have been great is if, because they're like drop-in little um, plugs, if you could have supplied like, if they could have supplied like one that had maybe slits 
for airflow rather than the honeycomb or maybe an all open just to give it some variety on the airflow itself um that that to me i i think it i it would be a subjective con because you only have the one type of airflow the other um, um con is going to be that the cap it it doesn't have it's got its own drip tip so it's not like you can interchange the drip tips i do like to match out my drip tips so that to me is kind of a subjective con i would have liked to do that and then there's one other con and i'm going to show you what it is but it's not a huge con because it gets to where it needs to go but still i did want to mention it just because i'm sure that you guys are wondering like if you're dripping like where's the liquid going so i've got it here and i'm going to go ahead and drip it 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 drips right on the ring and then it disperses it does go everywhere else you'll see it like within the glass it's gonna go in it's gonna hit it's gonna get to your wicks and it's gonna get to your coil that's not a problem it's just the fact that it's not going directly on it it's actually going around it so it's going around and it's getting in that juice well so i mean it's not a huge con but i did want to mention it for those of you that are really really picky with your dripping um and um for some the size is going to be a con for me it's not but for some being a 27 millimeter rda some people might consider it a con i prefer larger rdas and tanks and things like that so for me it's not a con at all but i did want to mention it for you guys now for the for the pros the flavor on it is about i'd say about a seven maybe a seven and a half so it's not super super bad but it's not the greatest flavor but it is it's nice it's got a really very airy and not airy in the sense of it's got massive airflow but the airflow is is not turbulent at all it's a very very smooth airflow very very smooth i don't get any turbulence whatsoever i prefer honeycomb type airflow and this has it even though it's going around your coil rather than coming up under your coil um it's almost leak proof because there's really nowhere for it to go the only way that it would leak is if you put too much juice in it and it goes up to that first row of the honeycomb airflow but then again they are at an angle so it's still going to be kind of hard to to make it leak even though it's bottom airflow because it's really top sort of bottom airflow or bottom to top i don't know but it's it's almost leak proof so if you're scared of like over dripping or over squonking this would probably be it for me another pro is going to be the size i love 27 millimeter rda's i really really do i like 27 28 30 millimeters that's just my preference it's not for everybody but that is my preference now about the glass cap i do like the glass cap i wish that they would have given another option um than glass but the hugest pro is that they gave you a whole nother glass cap that to me is great now if you were to break it you can actually go to the hugs vape website and you can buy another one for like five dollars or i think it was 550 you can get it from the website and so they've got them so that's not a problem at all and another huge pro i have to give them it is it it in my opinion is very innovative I've not seen anything like it. I have seen glass caps, but I haven't seen anything like the deck with the ring on it. So I think that I have to give them props for trying to be uh, um, creative in that sense because it does work. It just, it needs to be a little bit more. I feel like if it had more of an, more airflow, I think it would be better, but I really like the honeycomb. So somehow maybe bigger holes for the airflow, um, maybe slits. I'm not exactly sure because of course I'm not creating it, but something like that. But other than that, I think the looks of it is really, really cool. I, I, I don't know if you guys would like it, but I, I think it's cool. It's really nice. I, it's very different, which we're always screaming for innovations. So I think that it's very different. And you know, the, who knows if there's gonna be extra plugs um, that'll come with different types of airflow. That would be cool if you could purchase those separately. That'd be awesome. So yeah, you can get this at hugsvape.com. They do have it about $35. I think it was 30, 33 or $35. So you can get it if you want it. Again, it is single coil. It is kind of restricted. It's just on a bigger size because of the fact that it is a 27 millimeter. So that's pretty much it for my review. If you like the review, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And um, yeah, I guess I'll see you on the next one.